Let us pray for ourselves and for our world. O oh God, we thank you that in Christ you call each of us by name and you unite us in his body, the church. No matter whether we meet here in our church or around a TV or a computer in our living rooms, give us love enough, love to make a difference in your world, and trust, trust enough to follow even when the way before us is a challenge. O oh God of peace and promise, in Christ you call us to love our enemies and to be peacemakers in the world you love. We pray today for people and places divided by ancient bitterness and current hostility. O oh God of the bruised and the broken, we are grateful that in Christ you have taken up the cross and know by heart the things that bring us suffering and pain. We pray today for all of those in need of healing and comfort. We offer you thanksgiving for all those people working on our behalf during this current pandemic. People who work in our grocery stores and food supply chains, in pharmacies and stores and gas stations. We remember our first responders, and especially those who work in the caring professions, health care, long-term care, home care, those who look after the most vulnerable. O oh God of the lonely and suffering, in Christ you face the loss we know when loved ones die or when friends disappoint. We remember before you those who grieve the loss in their lives or those who face a lonely future. O oh God of hope and new possibility, in Christ, you open the way into the future for us through the power of your redeeming love. Give us the courage we need to face our future, to be assured of your presence and the power to sustain us. We offer all that we are and all that we hope through Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our closing hymn, O breath of life, come sweeping through us. <laughs> 